John Nolaski. I'm from North Dakota State University, Agricultural and Biosystems Engineering Department. And uh, my area is agricultural machinery with a focus on precision agriculture. And I work entirely in extension. So I am not teaching on campus. But my work is with the farmers and the citizens of the, of the region away from the campus. Today I'd like to share a little bit about what I was talking about here at the International Precision Ag Conference in Indianapolis about electronic data, what kinds of multi sensed electronic data. I shared some information on how we use electronic sensors in the ground and on the surface of the ground, above the ground, above the crops, to sense uh, conditions of in specific fields, take that data and transfer it back to offices, computers, or to your handheld computers using cellular technology. We use uh, sprint coverage and we use Iridium satellite coverage to transfer that data back to computers. Now, in the case of, of equipment dealers, uh, they can make use of this technology in a couple of ways. One way Here's the value is to uh, collect information uh, related to, uh, to uh, crop growth and uh, crop conditions in real time. But the data analysis. The other way that they can make use of this technology is to uh, monitor the equipment operation in the field and hopefully uh, to be able to use this technology to to repair and to deal with uh, specific technological problems in the field. Uh, we're all familiar with, uh, with GM's use of OnStar. I certainly see this technology being developed by equipment dealers in the near future uh, to be able to sell a service to farmers so that they can really make sure their technology is functioning properly on the farmers. Well, there certainly would be a, a time-saving problem. I mean, time-saving thing for farmers because the growers are going to are, are the same today as they were any time in the past. They're, they're dealing with weather conditions that uh, dictate whether or not and when they can be out in the field, and so they don't want to be held up by technology that's not working. So this is a way that, from the farmer's point of view, or growers' point of view. Uh, they can get their problems solved uh, from a distance. Uh, the other thing is that uh, equipment uh, dealers, probably more so uh, fertilizer type companies, are going to be able to aggregate data and uh, transfer data back and forth uh, from the, uh, like from a, an equipment dealer to the uh, farmer when chemicals applied and vice versa when uh, farmers are out there applying it or when they're uh, harvesting grain, they can take that data and transfer it back to, a, to an area that would be uh, on the internet that would be accessible to them and, and, and to the dealers to help manage that data, to make management decisions. Well, the thing that's currently developing is cellular technology to transfer data back and forth from uh, you know, right directly to the uh, to the grower's machine, whether it's to the tractor, to the combine, or to the sprayer. That cellular technology is is uh, making it possible to transfer the data real time without having to use cards or any other uh, you know hardware type equipment. So I think that this idea of using cellular is going to be just very common, and it already is. Uh, certainly is going to be uh, a way of uh, being able to, to transfer data back and forth in many places. Uh, that cellular data is being used to provide uh, differential correction in real time. Correction from GPS so that the, the cellular towers, which are surveyed in, can be used to, to increase that accuracy, provide real time um, accuracy, of, say, sub inch accuracy to farmers in the field. That's being used, you know, that's using cellular data, cellular technology.